Here's what I'm sensing. A moment of reckoning. A turning point. It feels like a situation where divine energy has stepped back, allowing someone else to make their move, to have the final word. It's as if they were given the space to say whatever they needed to say, with the understanding that this is their last chance to express themselves. I've been feeling this shift, this energy of the tables, completely turning on someone who thought they held all the power. This energy tried to control your thoughts and manipulate your emotions. They projected their own insecurities onto you, unable to handle the way your presence made them feel small. They tried to push their obsessive feelings onto you, hoping you would mirror their unhealthy attachment. In their desperation, they went to great lengths, some of which crossed boundaries, either spiritually or even in the physical world. They wanted to force an outcome, skipping fairness or honesty, and rigging the situation to their advantage. What's clear is that they couldn't handle being on an equal playing field with you. Instead, they sought shortcuts, trying to manipulate circumstances to make you feel dependent on them. And for a moment, it seemed like they succeeded. They believed they had won, that they had the upper hand. But this was temporary, an illusion allowed by divine timing. Now, everything is shifting. The tables are turning in a way that's almost instantaneous. It's like a sudden awakening. You've snapped out of their influence. All the energy they tried to burden you with is now returning to them. The fear, discomfort, and need for control they held onto are unraveling, forcing them to face the reality they tried to avoid. What bothered them most about you was your ability to reflect the truth. When they were around you, they couldn't escape the honest image you showed them, and it challenged the facade they worked so hard to maintain. This reflection was too much for their ego, but now they're left to confront it head on. They couldn't avoid the truth. They saw themselves clearly in the reflection you held up. The honesty of that mirror was undeniable, and it revealed exactly who they were. Instead of facing that truth, they tried to bury themselves within you, your mind, your body, your spirit. It was as if they wanted to root themselves so deeply inside you that removing them would be impossible. But ironically, their actions had the opposite effect. In trying to plant themselves in you, they ended up entangled in their own reflection. Now they find themselves in a situation where you are the one deeply rooted in their soul. The essence they tried to force upon you has turned back on them. What they sought to embed in you has instead become a part of their own being. It's as though the divine was working in reverse all along, flipping their intentions on their head. Deep down, it seems they always suspected this could happen. They knew their attempts to manipulate the truth would catch up with them, but they clung to the hope that they could escape it. Now, they're faced with an undeniable reality, and it's hitting them hard. The door to you is closed, and where they once found comfort in your presence, they can no longer access it. They had the chance to confront the truth when it was manageable, but that moment has passed. What remains is an outcome that may appear tragic to others, but it unfolded exactly as it was meant to. This dynamic, while painful for some, played out according to a larger plan. Take this message as it resonates with your journey. It's important to note that what they were doing, whether intentionally or not, was a form of manipulation, even energy manipulation. Whether you call it witchcraft or something else, it was an attempt to bend your energy against its natural flow. Now, all of that manipulation has backfired. The truth they ran from has returned to them, forcing them to face the consequences of their actions. They are now coming to terms with the truth that everything they tried to manipulate or control 
ultimately turned back on them. While they worked so hard to trap you emotionally or energetically, it's clear now that they were only trapping themselves. You're walking away from this situation as though untouched, almost as if none of their efforts had any lasting effect on you. Whatever ties you may have once felt, any care, curiosity, or hesitation to let them go is being completely removed. It's as if every lingering attachment is being scraped clean, right down to the bottom. Any energy they tried to plant within you is being pulled out, root and all, and redirected straight back into the center of their being. They're left to carry what they intended for you. This reversal has left them in an incredibly vulnerable state. I can feel it. The panic, the nervousness, like a deep unease in the pit of their stomach. This fear they now feel is the same vulnerability they tried to impose on you, rooted in their own insecurity and fear of your strength. They were intimidated by the completeness of your being, your wholeness. For a long time, they masked their true selves, pretending to be whole and confident, convincing themselves they didn't need to grow. They surrounded themselves with people they could easily deceive, those who couldn't see through their facade. But you were different. Just by being yourself, you reflected back to them all the parts of themselves they had been avoiding, areas where they felt inadequate or incomplete. Instead of recognizing this as a chance for growth, as a blessing to confront and heal their wounds, they reacted with fear and manipulation. They were so used to being in control, to feeling superior, that they couldn't handle the honesty your presence brought into their life. This is someone who has long felt isolated, unable to truly connect with others, and when faced with you, they saw a mirror they weren't ready to look into. Now, they're left to face it alone. Without saying a word, just by being yourself, you became a mirror to this person. Even though you were on your own journey of growth, your presence reflected back a truth they couldn't ignore. They may have appeared confident in your presence, masking their insecurities, perhaps even dismissing you, speaking poorly about you, or acting smug. But all of this behavior was nothing more than a projection of their own internal struggles. They saw something in you that was undeniable, your higher self. Even if you weren't fully aware of your own greatness, God ensured they saw it. This became their challenge, their wake-up call. It was as if a divine scale was presented to them, showing the vast difference between the energy you carried and the darkness they had rooted themselves in. Their actions, rooted in selfishness and injustice, were laid bare before them. They couldn't hide from their true nature any longer. Why this had to happen, only God knows. It's clear this person has reached a pivotal moment, a crossroads where they must decide to transform or remain stuck in their ways. While the purpose behind this divine intervention isn't entirely clear, it feels significant, like a groundbreaking shift is about to take place in their life. What's remarkable is your role in all of this. Though you may have seemed like the victim, you were never truly powerless. In fact, you were chosen for this mission. God was guiding you all along, whispering truths to you, showing you intuitively the role you were meant to play. You were used as an instrument, not to harm, but to heal and challenge. Your strength, resilience, and ability to trust the divine made you the perfect person for this task. This experience wasn't just about them. It was also about you. Through this process, your perception of yourself has been transformed. You're being gifted a deeper alignment, connecting your heart, your voice, and your soul in ways you may not have imagined. It hasn't been easy, but it's leading you to a place of profound growth and understanding. The journey you've been on 
has not been an easy one. It has been filled with challenges that felt almost unbearable, as though your heart was being torn apart right in front of you. You may have found yourself questioning, asking God, really, how am I supposed to handle this? But the truth is, you are handling it, and you are stronger because of it. Those who tried to manipulate or harm you believed they had won, thinking they had outsmarted you. But they didn't understand the deeper workings of karma. While they might have outmaneuvered others in the past, this time was different. They weren't just dealing with you. They were facing divine justice. You were a vessel, a piece of a much larger puzzle, guided by God's hand. As a result, the tables have completely turned. Where they tried to manipulate, harm, or control you, you are now being blessed with the opposite. The energy they used to create attachments or dependency within you has been eradicated. Any lingering tendencies toward codependency have been stripped away, leaving you free and grounded in your true self. This is your gift, freedom, clarity, and a deeper connection to who you've always been meant to be. If you've been questioning why you had to endure this pain, know that it wasn't in vain. This experience has repositioned you, aligning you with your true purpose. You are now firmly rooted, standing on solid ground and growing in fertile soil. Old misconceptions about your worth and relationships have been replaced with a flowing, authentic energy. The person who tried to break you couldn't see the bigger picture. They ignored the warning signs, tempted by how easy it seemed to harm you. But every time they tried to destroy you, you rose stronger, like a phoenix emerging from the fire. You are indestructible, and this was God's way of showing both you and them just how phenomenal you are. Take this as a reminder of your strength. You were never a victim, but a chosen instrument of transformation. Keep moving forward with confidence, knowing that everything happened for a divine purpose. You are extraordinary.